Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of these two prep sprays. I'm going to be doing a blowout today, but I'm going to do one side with the Color Wow Dream Coat and then the other side with the Dry Bar Liquid Glass. So I'm just going to apply the Color Wow on this side and then the Dry Bar on this side. And we'll see which side looks better. So we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna do this first section down here with the Color Wow Dream Coat. So I'm gonna apply a pretty good amount on all my hair. You're supposed to put a pretty good amount on each section right before drying your hair. So this is going to activate with heat and this is going to protect your hair from the heat as well up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. This is also going to last you from three to four washes and the dry bar as well. That's why I wanted to do a comparison of the two because they are very very similar they're supposed to help with frizz and also give you a ton of shine so i'm going to do one section with the color wow dream coat right now with my babyliss nano titanium portofino blow dryer and i use this blow dryer in the highest heat setting and the highest speed of course and i really like this blow dryer it is actually insanely powerful it is so powerful and it dries my hair so quickly I love my Dyson Supersonic as well, but I have been using this one lately a little bit more just because I want to try it more and see how I like it over time. So yeah, it doesn't mean that I don't use my Dyson and I don't love it. I absolutely love it. But I wanted to just continue to use the Bobby List for a couple months and see how I like it over time and give you guys my thoughts. All right, so here's the first section with the Color Wow. I love it. It looks so nice and smooth. And it also looks very, very shiny. So looking forward to seeing how my hair turns out after this. So now I'm going to go in with the dry bar on the other side. I'm going to do a very small section as well. And I divided my hair right in the middle because I really want to do just one side with the dry bar and then the other side with the color wow. By the way, I'm taking very small sections. I'm taking sections that are about the size of the brush, maybe even smaller, just because I wanna make sure that I dry my hair super, super well. With the dry bar liquid glass, you do the same. You add pretty good amount on each section before putting heat to your hair. That one smells so nice. It smells actually better in my opinion. I like the scent of this one a lot more. It's a little bit stronger, but wow, it smells really nice. It has like a very like floral scent. If you don't like fragrance, you might not like that about this, but I like it. I love how it smells. And yeah, I think it's very nice. I really like it. So I'm going to do this section right now. So the brush that I am using to blow up my hair is from Amazon. I will link it down below. I'm going to link everything down below. This round brush is so nice because it has bore and nylon bristles. So it gives me a very smooth blowout even with other products. But the real test is going to be after 24 hours because I am going to do a wear test and I'm going to show you guys how my hair looks tomorrow the next day and I am actually going to film another video for YouTube as well straightening my hair with a new straightener so I am going to show you guys how this looks how my hair looks after straightening my hair as well because it should look maybe better maybe the same maybe i'm gonna get more shine because these products activate again with heat once you apply heat again throughout the week okay so i am done with the dry bar side and this section actually feels a little bit softer than the color wow but i have to finish doing both sides i gotta finish doing all my hair and i'll be back with the final look and my thoughts on day one but yeah guys remember to use this product section per section spray a pretty good amount on each section blow dry your hair add the heat so that it can activate and this will give you better results as you can see i'm doing the same technique on each side and this is what works for me i actually really like this blow dryer i love the round brush and this routine like drying my hair this way takes me about 45 minutes but i feel like this is what gives me the smoothest results okay i am done doing all my hair and i just have to say i am impressed with the final look on both sides this is the dry bar side I think it looks so nice and flat. I literally have like no waves and this side of my hair is very curly. It's actually curlier than this side, which is the dream coat side. 
but I also love how the dream coat side looks and look at that shine like it looks so shiny i feel like the dry bar feels just a little tiny bit softer a little tiny bit softer it's not like a huge difference but it feels softer than the dream coat side i feel like the dry bar side looks very shiny but i think the dream coat looks a little bit shinier i mean look at that like wow look at that shine and then this is the dry bar i think it still looks shiny but I really feel like the dream coat looks just a little tiny bit shinier than the dry bar. But honestly, both sides look so nice and I love the smooth blowout that I was able to get using this technique and using this blow dryer. So I'll link this down below if you guys want to check it out. I actually really like it and I feel like it's pretty affordable compared to other blow dryers on the market and this gives me a pretty smooth blowout. Like this gives me like that Dominican salon blowout. So yeah, absolutely love it. It is 8.07 right now so I'm going to do a little wear test now before I go to sleep. So I'm going to do maybe like three hours today and then i'll do my little bonnet doobie situation go to bed and then i'll wake up and do a 24 hour wear test so i'll show you guys tomorrow what my hair looks like after sleeping in this blowout so yeah i'll be back in about an hour but so far i love the results i absolutely love how my hair turns out and i feel like it's gonna be kind of hard to pick a favorite i mean it really depends on the wear test and how my hair looks in a couple of hours or even tomorrow so i'll be back in an hour second hour wear test this is the dry bar side i think it looks fine i feel like it is starting to get a little tiny bit frizzy right there but this side of my hair is a little bit curlier than this side, so I wouldn't be surprised if this side gets a little bit frizzier quicker than the dream coat side. The dream coat is looking very nice so far. I feel like I have a little tiny bit of frizz up here, but overall, for the first hour, not bad at all. I feel like my hair still looks pretty nice, so I'll be back in another hour. Two hour check-in, and this is what my hair looks like it doesn't look super smooth i feel like both sides are kind of like they're starting to get a little bit frizzy you can see this one the dry bar side starting to look a little bit frizzier and then this is the color wow also looking a tiny bit frizzier it still looks fine like i would go out like this and i feel like my hair looks fine but i feel like it definitely is starting to get a tiny bit frizzy I feel like right here you can see it okay so it has been three hours as you can see it's 11 already and i need to go to bed <laughs> so i am going to do the final check-in tomorrow but this is what my hair is looking like it doesn't look that great i'll be honest i mean i feel like on both sides you can kind of see how it's starting to get frizzy i'm interested in seeing how my hair is going to look tomorrow but this is the dry bar side like I said, it's starting to get frizzy right around there, like in the middle. And then this is the color wow side. I feel like it looks a little bit frizzy as well. I'm going to do my little doobie. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that and how my blowouts last a little bit longer throughout the week. So quick mini tutorial right here. I just like to brush all my hair. I split my hair kind of like right in the middle. Bring my head down brush my hair forward like this take my little hair net and then just start to bring in the hair and i'm gonna link this down below but yeah just like that i start to just bring the hair very slowly around and i kind of create like this little <laughs> like mini hat I feel like this is not only a dominican thing but it's also just a very hispanic thing i also like to put two bobby pins one back here just to kind of secure everything and then i'll put the other one in the front here somewhere maybe like around here let me know down below if you guys do this as well um i know dominicans do this a lot but i know that there's a lot of 
other cultures that also do this so let me know in the comments down below if this is something that you do to preserve your blowouts i like to add a silk bonnet on top so i'm gonna do that now but i'll see you guys tomorrow for my final check-in all right guys so it is the next day as you can see it is january 4th now and we're gonna see what my hair looks like so I'm gonna take off my little doobie and I'm actually going to straighten my hair for another video so you guys will see what the hair looks like after straightening it. So I'm just brushing my hair and honestly, it doesn't look bad. It really does not look bad so far for just a blowout. I mean, I would usually just maybe touch up my blowout with the blow dryer today, like on day two. I wouldn't really use a straightener. I'm just using a straightener for another video. But this is the dry bar side. It's actually very, very soft. And it's very shiny. Sometimes the front, like the edges get a little bit messed up. Especially when I do my skincare. I feel like I get the edges a little bit wet. So that is why I almost always touch up my blowout with a blow dryer. Um, but yeah. So far, it doesn't look bad. This is the color wow side. Also looks very shiny. It feels soft as well, but I do think that this side feels just a little tiny bit softer. On day two, I still feel like this side looks a little tiny bit frizzier right here, the dry bar. But at the same time, this side is way curlier than this side. So it's hard to tell. But anyways, I'm going to straighten my hair now and I'll be back with the final look and my final thoughts. Okay guys, so I just straightened my hair and this is what my hair looks like. I am impressed with how much shine I just got. Like these products really do activate again with the heat once you reapply heat throughout the week because well, my hair looks and feels so nice this is the dry bar side look at that shine it looks so shiny i am so impressed and then the color wow side looks incredible as well it looks so shiny so so shiny and yeah it looks like if it's going to last a very long time like it doesn't look like if it's gonna get frizzy anytime soon because i added a straightener i feel like once i add the straightener my hair definitely last a lot longer but i try to avoid it because flat irons just destroy my curls so i try to avoid flat irons but i just did a little bit today i just applied a little bit of extra heat to my hair and yeah i feel like it looks very very nice like i am so impressed with these products and i honestly don't know which one i like better i mean they are both so nice and they both gave me really nice results anyways guys that is it for this video i hope it was helpful please comment down below which side you liked better did you like the dry bar or did you like the color wow let me know in the comments down below i am so curious i really want to see what you guys think i have no idea what you guys are going to say i feel like this is just such a tough one this is such a tough one i don't know but comment down below because i am so curious team dry bar or team color wow anyways that is it for this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye bye <laughs>